After action report. R. Operation. Yashkul Liberation. Unit. Task Force, 3rd Battalion, Chernarus 3rd Separate Tank Brigade. Date. Op. 1 March 2405. 1. Situation. A. Enemy. A separatist element, reinforced with Wagner Group operators and local levies, had occupied the village of Yashkul and imprisoned four civilians. Intelligence reports indicated the presence of experienced separatist troops. B. Friendly. A task force comprised of three tanks, two BMP rifle squads, and a scout 1 BRDM was tasked to liberate the village, release the prisoners, and evacuate them. C. Terrain. Yashkul is a rural village with limited cover and built-up areas suitable for dismounted infantry combat. D. Weather. Nighttime operation with limited visibility. 2. Mission. Clear the village of Yashkul, release and evacuate four imprisoned civilians. 3. Execution. A. Maneuver. The task force deviated from the original plan of a broad front attack. Instead, the commander focused on assaulting the area where prisoners were believed to be held. Three tanks provided fire support and engaged enemy heavy vehicles. Two BMP rifle squads dismounted and cleared the village. Task force commander intercepted an escaping female prisoner, provided medical aid, and directed her to rendezvous with Scout 1 BRDM. Commander led the final assault on the building holding prisoners, but was killed in action. Two more civilians, both female, were released and evacuated. Command squad continued clearing the village encountering Wagner Group, Russian militia, and local levies. Second squad established a defensive zone to repel enemy counterattacks from the north and northwest. B. Fires. Tanks engaged enemy heavy vehicles with success. BMPs provided fire support during village clearing operations. C. Logistics. Evacuation of released civilians was successful. Replenishment of ammunition and medical supplies was not required. D. Command and Control. Task Force Commander deviated from the plan, but ultimately achieved the mission objective. Command transitioned smoothly after the commander's death. 4. Sustainment. A. Personnel. Casualties were minimal. Command squad lost two personnel including the commander. Medical aid was administered to the rescued female prisoner. B. Logistics. Ammunition and medical supplies were sufficient for the operation. Vehicles sustained minor damage. 5. Recommendations. A. Intelligence. Future operations should verify the accuracy of local agent reports. Improved prisoner debriefing procedures could reveal valuable intelligence. B. Tactics. Stricter adherence to mission plans is recommended to ensure coordinated maneuvers and minimize risk. Pre-planned casualty evacuation procedures should be in place. 6. Lessons learned. A. Enemy capabilities. The separatist force was primarily composed of less experienced troops. However, the presence of Wagner Group operators indicates a potential for high capability elements within separatist formations. B. Enemy dispositions. Enemy forces are likely shifting experienced personnel southward, potentially indicating a renewed focus on operations in South Zagoria. C. Civilian considerations. The presence of tortured civilians highlights the brutality of the separatists. Local populations may be harboring individuals targeted by the separatists. 7. Conclusion. The operation successfully liberated Yashkul and rescued three civilians. However, the death of the task force commander and the discovery of a hidden deserter amongst the prisoners highlight the complexities and uncertainties of the operational environment. Improved intelligence gathering, stricter adherence to mission plans, 
and refined prisoner debriefing procedures are recommended for future operations.